12, 12 KOs. So, you know, the, the Puerto Ricans are really, really tough guys, and uh, this will be a tough one for Nicky Cook. Just a uh, quick reminder for you, this is a special event on Sky Box Office. It's also available in high definition on channel 752. If you're having any difficulty receiving pictures of this event, call 08 442 410 Time for the first live fight of the evening then. Your commentators, Ian Dark and Jim Watt, after our MC, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for the first of our world title attractions. Please welcome the boxers as they make their way to the ring. First, joining us to the red corner, the challenger from Puerto Rico, Roman Rocky Martinez. Well, good evening to you on what is going to be a special night here with 20,000 fans in the arena here in Manchester. This is Rocky Martinez. Roman is his real name, but he likes to be called Rocky from Puerto Rico, the boxing nation which produced Wilfred Benitez, Wilfredo Gomez, Felix Trinidad, Miguel Acotto, and he starts favourite to rip this title away from Britain's Nicky Cook. Yeah, well, Martinez is number one contender, and he hasn't been manoeuvred into that spot. Like Nicky Cook, he's had to fight his way through some contenders. He's come out top in a couple of tough battles. Looking through his record, he hasn't beaten anybody as good as Nicky Cook. But this is a massive step for him. I like his manner, right? The look of him. He's very confident. This is a really tough first defence for Nicky Cook. And now joining us to the blue corner, the defending world champion from Dagenham, introducing Nikki Cook. Nikki Cook, who had his greatest night by beating Alex Arthur to become WBO Super Featherweight Champion. Tough for him, really, that he's got such an awkward looking first defence, because this might be harder for him than the Alex Arthur fight. He expects a long, hard battle, but he said to me as well, it's one I expect to prevail in. Yeah, well, it's taken Nicky a long, long time to become world champion, and he's openly said what he wants to do, he's realised his dreams, but now he wants to secure his future for himself and his family, and he'll do that by making successful defences. This is a tricky one, but if he gets through tonight, then it'll give him a little bit of breathing space to make a couple of voluntary defences, cash in, and set his future up for life. That's what his plans are tonight. This is a tough one, but certainly not beyond them. This is what the tail of the tape says for this first World Championship fight of the evening. Nicky Cook is 29 now, Roman Martinez three years younger. You can see that Martinez is a little taller. They both made the nine stone four pounds limit. Slight reach advantage for Cook. Cook's been a professional for three years longer. He's had more fights as well, but Martinez has one or two eye-catching results if you go through the form lines. And has got a slightly bigger dig, possibly. Bookmakers think Martinez, the Puerto Rican, is the favourite to take this title. As I was telling you, he's 11 to 8 on, only 2 to 1 to win by stoppage as well. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you and welcome to the MEN Arena here in the heart of Manchester, England, as we have a big night of action coming away, brought to you by Frank Warren in association with Don King Productions, www.frankwarren.tv and the Queensbury Fight Network as sponsored by Russian Premier Vodka and Planet Hollywood. At this time, we present the first of our world title attractions, live and exclusive on Sky Box Office. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the World Boxing Organization, the president, Francisco Valcarcel. Supervisor is the former world champion, Istvan Koko Kovacs. Along with the British Boxing Board of Control, the steward in charge is Jeff Bolter. Introducing our three judges, scoring this bout from ringside, from the United States, Thomas Miller. From Spain, Manuel Oliver Polomo. 
And from England, Mickey Van. Introducing our third man to the ring, our referee in charge, hailing from Leeds, Dave uh, Paris. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO Super Featherweight Championship of the World. <laughs> Introducing to you first, the challenger on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue trunks with red and white trim. He weighed in at nine stone, three pounds, or 129 US pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a record of 21 wins, no losses, and one draw, with 12 wins coming by way of knockout. He is currently ranked the WBO number one super featherweight contender. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger from Vega Baja, Puerto Rico, introducing Roman Rocky. His opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, is the defending world champion. Wearing red trunks with white trim, he weighed in at nine stone, four pounds, or an even 130 US pounds. His fine record includes 29 wins, only one defeat, with 16 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the former undefeated British Commonwealth and European champion, Tonight, making the first defense of the title he won in this ring last September. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the current and reigning WBO Super Featherweight Champion of the World from Dagenham in England, introducing Nikki Cook. Once again, a referee in charge. Now to give instructions, Dave Paris. I spoke to you both in the dressing room, boys. You know what I expect of you. Right? Keep your punches clean. Shake hands, boys. Shake hands. Come on. Good luck. Referee Dave Paris, who might have been a little bemused to have been introduced as coming from Leeds. I think you heard from his accent there. He's very much from Tottenham in North London, but uh, it's an easy mistake to make, I guess. Seconds out. Cook no in the one. red trucks here. One of only two British world champions with the major governing bodies at the moment. The other being Carl Froch, the super middleweight. But this is a tough one against his mandatory challenger, Roman Martinez of Puerto Rico. And we've learned to have great respect for the Puerto Rican fighters. Thought he looked a little skeletal on the scales yesterday, Martinez, though. Yeah, he made the weight pretty easily, too. Well, well it's nice to see. I mean, I, mean, I thought he was a fighter who wanted to be aggressive right from the off, but I see him circling, which is good news. Because I'd like to see Nicky Cook coming forward in this fight as much as possible. And he's on the front foot at the moment. But you can see already Martinez is a thinker. He's trying to draw leads and counter. Nice left hook from him. Good right hand as well. Quite quick handed by the look of things. Martinez, he's won his last 14 contests, by the way. And he's beaten a guy called Francisco Lorenzo who'd previously beaten Nate Campbell, who went on to become world lightweight champion. That's a good form line. He also went the distance with Humberto Soto, who's a WBC champion at the moment. So useful form, Martinez. That's probably why the bookmakers make him a narrow favorite for this. And you can see he's a little weight. He just leans forward from the waist as he's about to throw the punches, and that just gives him an extra couple of inches. And a couple of times, Cook has thought he's been out of range. He's just been caught. Not big punches yet, but there you are, stepping in nicely with the shot. It's good body shot to trading jabs. Martinez can be hit quite a lot himself, mind you. He's been poker-faced all week here. He's looked like a man on a mission, saying very little, waiting for tonight to make his statement. Can he make it, though? Cook, who's been training in Tenerife, and almost Nigel Benn-style preparation, which he favours these days running on Mount Tidy, Europe's second biggest mountain. It's a lovely left hand there from Martinez. He picked it well. I mean, we have always said defending a title is tougher than challenging for one because it's the biggest night of your life challenging. You have everything to lose tonight. Did not see any problem there? The gum shield's come out, didn't notice that. Gum shield's out. 
neither did I, to be honest with you, Jim, but it has, so they have to rinse that off. No advantage gained, really. So far in his career, unbeaten the Puerto Rican. Good body shot there from Cook, who may grow in confidence by becoming world champion. You often see that, don't you, Jim? Yeah, but I think so. And I think being that it was stopped the first time he challenged for the world title, but he's up now as super featherweight. He looks a much better fighter, a much more confident fighter. Good enough for what to split them in the opening round. Maybe the better quality shots came from Martinez. But it's not really much to split them. Good opening round. Two fighters who are thinking their way around the ring. This could be an interesting fight. Meanwhile, the build-up goes on to the big one tonight. Amir Khan against Marco Antonio Barrera. What a night, what a fight for Amir Khan.